dear students welcome to my channel we are going to find all the videos for all semester exclusively for srm students so you can just go to the playlist of my channel and you can see unit by unit year by year you can find all the video lectures it consists of basics simple tricks shortcut ideas and then problem solving for your exam point of view so you can follow my channel and it is going to be very useful for you for your exam point of view okay let us go into today's session in today's session we are going to see some basic definitions and various kinds of matrices which is going to be helpful to solve our problems in unit 1 we know matrix matrix is consists of rows and columns it should have m rows and n columns what is mean by a square matrix now when you take a matrix if the number of rows is equal to number of columns for example you see here you have two rows and then two columns then it is going to be a square matrix so the order of this matrix is 2 cross 2 similarly we can construct a 3 cross 3 matrix so if the matrix whose rows and columns are equal then it is going to be a square matrix if my rows and columns are not equal then it is said to be a rectangular matrices so throughout our unit we are going to use only the square matrices And these are all some examples next one is the null matrix if the matrix consists of all the elements are zero then it is going to be a null matrix so these are all some examples triangular matrix first of all the triangular matrix should be a square matrix it's going to be 2 cross 2 or 3 cross 3 etc now before going to the triangular matrix we should know what is mean by leading diagonal let us consider an example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now this square matrix has two diagonals this is one diagonal and this is the other diagonal the diagonal which i highlighted in yellow color it is known as leading diagonal so a square matrix if all the elements above the leading diagonal are zeros but there may be some zeros in the diagonal then such matrix is called as lower triangular matrix for example you take a matrix 1 2 3 above the leading diagonal everything is zero then it is going to be a lower triangular matrix that means the diagonal elements all the diagonal elements should not be zero but maybe some diagonal elements can be zero for example 1 0 1 or 1 1 0 1, then you can fill the upper diagonal elements are zero and some numbers here so these are all some examples for lower triangular matrix now it is easy for you you can understand what is mean by upper triangular matrix so this is a lower triangular matrix when below the leading diagonal or zero see here this is your diagonal elements and below the diagonal i saw all the elements are zero then it is known as upper triangular matrix hope you understand next one is diagonal matrix if the leading diagonal should be non zero then it is going to be a diagonal matrix that means all the off diagonal elements are zero for example 1 2 3 then 0 0 0 0 0 this is your diagonal matrix but the diagonal elements need not to be always non zero it at least one diagonal element should be non zero if all the diagonal elements are zero then it is going to be a null matrix so in a diagonal matrix we see it should be at least one of the diagonal elements should be non zero these are all some examples scalar matrix so now we are clear with our diagonal matrix now i write an example this is a diagonal matrix now there are situations i can take a diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are same then it is known as a scalar matrix the only condition my diagonal elements should not be zero if your diagonal elements are zero it is going to be null matrix and my diagonal elements also not equal to 1 these are all some examples if your diagonal matrix whose diagonal elements are 1 and the remaining elements are zero then it is known to be identity matrix so identity matrix is a matrix 
whose diagonal elements are 1 and off diagonal elements are 0. If it is a 2 cross 2 matrix, I can write like 1, 0, 0, 1. So, these are all very basics you know just for your recap I am giving it as a video. Transpose of a matrix. Okay, now you take this matrix. What is transpose of a matrix? Now, I want to write the matrix either converting the rows into columns or columns into rows then it is going to be a transpose of a matrix. Now, I will take this first row and I am going to write it as first column. Then I will take the second row that is 4, 5, 6 and I am going to write it as a second column. Similarly, I will take the third row and I am going to write it as a third column. Now, you see this is the transpose for a matrix A. So, either you convert rows into columns or you write columns into rows. You will be getting the same. Next, symmetric matrix. When you say a matrix is a symmetric matrix, if you take A and find the transpose, if my A is equal to A transpose, then I say the matrix is a symmetric matrix. If it is not equal, then I will say it as a non-symmetric matrix. Let us go into an example. Now, let me write the transpose for this. I will take this first row and I will write in columns 1, 2, 3. Then second row 2, 4, 5. I am going to write it as second column. And the third row 3, 5, 6. I am going to write it as third column 3, 5, 6. Now you see the first row is 1, 2, 3. Here also the first row is 1, 2, 3. Second one is 2, 4, 5. Here also we have 2, 4, 5. Third row is 3, 5, 6. Here also we have 3, 5, 6. So, that means A equal to A transpose. If A equal to A transpose, I say the matrix is a symmetric matrix. Next. So, there are some non max students also in our student group. For them, I am finding the determinant of the matrix. First, I will take a 2 cross 2 matrix. 2, 1, 3, 4. Now, determinant of the matrix is nothing but multiply the leading diagonal 2 into 4. 8. Then multiply the other diagonal. 1 into 3, 3. So, 8 minus 3 will give you 5. This is the determinant of this given matrix. Similarly, we are going to do the determinant of 3 cross 3 matrix. Okay, let us take a simple problem. Now, how to find the determinant? So, either you can go by row or you can go by column. We will start with plus, minus and plus. So, first, I will keep this 1 and I have to see this 2 cross 2 matrix and I am going to write this 2 cross 2 matrix 1, 2, 4, 3. Now, the second one is negative. So, minus 1 into I will just neglect this row and corresponding column. So, remaining element I will write it as 3, 2, 1, 3. Next, we have plus and here the coefficient is 3. So, I will take 3. Now, just neglect this row and column we have 3, 1, 1, 4. So, now we know how to find the determinant of 2 cross 2 matrix. So, 1 into 3 minus 8 minus 3, 3 is 9, 9 minus 2 plus 3 into 3, 4 is 12, 12 minus 1. So, here we write minus 5, 7, we have minus outside, minus 7, then 11, 11 into 3, 33. So, the final answer is 21. We find the determinant of the given matrix. I think this basics is enough to crack the problems in your unit 1. Thanks for your patience guys. Subscribe our channel. Share to your friends. Let everyone get benefited. Thank you. Bye-bye.